you can argue this is the most influential martial artist of all time, the great Bruce Lee, making his walk to the octagon here tonight, Jim. Everybody wants to be Bruce Lee. They say they want to be like Mike. If you're a fighter, you want it to be like Bruce Lee. You want it to be that fast. You want it to be that charismatic. You want it to have an ability to just freeze your opponents. Your speed, your movement, just the diversity in the attacks that you can give your opponents would just confuse people. I mean, I watched him beat a seven-foot Kareem at Jabbar to stay undefeated. Right. If you can do that, you can do anything. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times, Bruce Lee in a match. Just so wise. Bruce Lee enters the octagon with his mind set on one thing tonight, that UFC champion. You ready to fight? Ready. Good. All right, so the UFC is back at the O2 Arena here in London, England. The adult beverages are flowing, and we're going to feed off this crowd tonight as usual here in the UK, DC. You know, a lot of times you sit next to the octagon, and because we wear these headphones, you can barely hear. But when we come to London, headphone or not, you are going to know that these people are loud, they're raucous, and they're ready to put on a show. They're ready to also cheer hard for the English fighter. Oh, and he lands another leg kick there. He's already landed several in this round, and the damage is really starting to take its toll. Yeah, it's really starting to take its toll, and you watch the opponent. He's walking gingerly on his leg, and one big tell that you're starting to really do well with your leg kicks is when your opponent starts to switch stances. Right. Watch for a stance switch very soon. There's the kick. It's blocked. Fast pace here in the early going. Leg kick lands, my favorite strike. Push kick there to the body. Oh! And there he goes, lands another combination. His cardio is so good that it allows him to put forth this type of output and pace. When his opponent is done at two, he is stringing together four, five, six more different strikes. You don't do that without having fantastic cardio. Oh, Superman punch is good. You can tell he's been working on that. Good series of kicks by him there, DC. He has certainly found his range on the feet. I mean, when you don't check, you're gonna continue to get blasted with kicks. His opponent has not deterred him from keeping on throwing those kicks. And this dude's cashing chips. He does a great job getting out of that clutch position. A couple minutes gone by round one. Well, he's got a pretty good side kick, and you saw it right there. He did it great, and it pushed his opponent back. Notice how it creates space and allows him to get back to where he's comfortable. Just misses with the left hook. Both fighters exchange in the pocket here. Big right hook coming, it's blocked. Oh, the roundhouse kick lands. Well, he is at his kickboxing best tonight. Another nice good series of kicks by him there. I mean, the kicks are coming in bunches. Normally, it's the hands. Tonight, he's throwing kick after kick after kick. Nice straight right, Lance. Just over two minutes to go. Oh, and another leg kick lands. And I assure you, there is no microphone on those shorts. That is flesh on flesh, bone on bone. Another debilitating strike to the leg. It's a pretty good jab. Look at those weapons. Look at how he uses his knees to the body. Clipped him with the right hand there. Nice takedown. There you go. Big grounded palm. Nice shot there by the champ. Getting the mount here. Oh. And he's able to work his way back to his feet. Great kicks there. 
Under a minute now to go. Oh, and he tags him with the straight hand there. Beautifully done by Lee. Another powerful kick there. A lot of volume with the feet tonight for him. It's unbelievable to watch somebody make kicking the base of their fighting style. He has shown us that it's possible. Well, you know the book on this guy, very strong. Two strike lands there, and somehow his opponent's chin held up. His opponent's chin held up, but you do not want to be on the receiving end of those types of strikes. Trying to hammer that lead leg. Let's go! I want that. Oh, nice. Glancing right hand lands upstairs. Oh, and the high kick lands. Over and over, same story. Punch after punch to the head. Massive oh, head oh. kick. Big moments on both sides in round one. Deep breath, relax. Excellent work on the ground. This guy cannot swim with you in those deep waters. This next round. Body kick right there, landed perfect. You ready to fight? Ready. Go All right, here we go with round two. All right, so as this next round gets underway, hopefully the good action we saw in the last round will continue. Both fighters certainly had their ups and downs, both got the offense going, but now we'll see if one fighter or the other can really take control of what has been a very close fight thus far. Lee's head kick is blocked, no damage there. Does a great job of getting that leg kick to the target. Straight right is there. Both fighters hanging down in the pocket and both landing. Oh, that body shot hurt him. This pace is just absurd, and he has kept it up throughout the fight. Shades of Max Holloway against Calvin Cater, punches in bunches. I mean, being there, watching Max Holloway do what he did was super impressive. So to even list this performance alongside that tells you how this guy is fighting tonight. Lee's strike attempt there is blocked. All right, so a good series of kicks by him there. He has mixed it up beautifully, I think, on the feet tonight. He is kicking everywhere tonight. He's doing a fantastic job. Oh, that couldn't have felt good as he lands the knee to the body. He's a tall fighter, and he's going to have the size advantage against most opposition in this division. And there's that inside leg kick. The issue with that kick, as effective as it is, one gets checked on the Anderson Silva situation. Well, now you see some visible damage on the side underneath the elbow. He told us he was going to invest in the body, and he hasn't missed a whole lot tonight. You didn't expect him to do it this effectively. He's done a fantastic job of following the game plan. Three minutes now to go in round two. Good series of kicks by him there, DC. He certainly has that part of his game going tonight. He's a fantastic kickboxer, but tonight is the kicks that's lead the dance. Lee gets tagged with a kick now. Let's see if he can rally. Man, has he landed a high volume of strikes here in round two. Definitely picking up the pace after round one. So he got the message from the corner, and now he is taking control of this second round. Nice jab there by Lee. Both fighters starting to open up a little bit. Left hand got home there. Well, one got through. That kick was blocked. Relax. Keep your hands up for me now. Nice kick. Yep. Well, it didn't take him long to get a good read on his opponent. Another good series of kicks there. He thought the kicks would be the key tonight, and they sure have been. Trying to establish that jab once again. Man, his jab is good. There it is. Oh, huge overhand there. 
So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are gonna take their toll as this fight goes on. All right, there it is, another strike targeting that damaged area on the body. Is this a game plan thing or perhaps trying to set something up high level? Yeah, I think, it's, I think it's all, it all works together. You get the hands to start to drop, and then when those hands drop, you go over the top with that head kick. But beating up the body sets up the attacks up top, and that is exactly what this guy is doing. Stuff the takedown, no problem. Oh, and he lands another huge knee there as the taller fighter uses his length well yet again. Nice punch land over the top. Well, champ, I don't see that well, but it's hard to miss the redness underneath that elbow. A lot of bodily investment from his opponent tonight. Yeah, it's an investment, John. It may not pay dividends right now, but the more you go there, the more damage you do eventually, it will show itself. And right now, it's starting to show. Nice kick. These guys are going at it. Pretty strong jab there by Lee. Oh, solid kicks are landing. He has most certainly found the range on the feet. 30 seconds to go in the round. Checks that leg kick. 20 seconds to go round two. Oh, he has landed a high volume of strikes in this round and really hasn't let up when it comes to his aggressiveness. The striking has been on point every step of the way. Careful to not gas out, but you gotta like the output here down the stretch. Right. Round three next. Right. Right, A lot of high-level highlights from that last round, DC. Take us through the replay. If he fought like this, I would be comfortable entering him into a K-1 level right. kickboxing competition. He's that good at finding and landing those kicks at will. He needs to continue to do this as the fight goes on. You ready? You ready? Go Here we go, third round of this championship fight. All right, pretty good back and forth action in the previous two rounds. Your expectations here as this next round gets underway. I expect the action to really pick up now. These guys have to lay it on the line as we start to approach the end of the fight. Oh, shot to the body connects there. He hasn't really thrown too many body strikes in this fight, but now as this fight goes on, he is not discriminating, working the body, and those shots are gonna count. Defensive Savant, he blocked that punch. Whiffs on the right hand. Guess the single collar tie now. Beautiful strike. These boys are standing right in front of each other, just kind of going at it. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. All right, so now his body language really starting to change and the bruises starting to accumulate on that side. I mean, you're looking at it, right? When you can visibly see the damage on the body, you know that the work has been done. What a beautiful game plan put together by this team. Nice display of technique by him there on the sidekick. Now we'll see if he can follow it up. Very traditional technique that a lot of guys are using now in the UFC. Well, you gotta think he's gonna enjoy watching this one back tomorrow morning. He has landed a ton of significant strikes and really a guy who has been a monster in the gym finally putting it together here in the office. To go home and admire your work, it doesn't take till the next morning. He's going back to the room right now and firing up the video to look at you in action. And he was the one causing all the action. Oh, and he continues to pour it on. We mentioned earlier the aggression with his striking. Got to be careful to not gas out here, but at least you have to admire the approach. Man, look at that damage on the right side of his body. Starting to really bruise now. Oh, a little 
a single collar tie there. Now landing to the body. Oh, and that kick is blocked. With two minutes and change to go in round three. All right, champ, starting to see some swelling upstairs now. Well, he's taking way too many shots to the head. You got to move your head. You cannot be on a straight line. Otherwise, you will take shots, and that shot, and those shots, leads to your face starting to swell. Just misses with the jab there. That's a strong punch to the head out of the clinch. All right, so the redness is omnipresent now. He has absorbed a whole lot of body strikes. Pretty good poker face, but I'm not sure how many more of these he wants to take. No, he doesn't. He needs to do something different. He cannot continue to get beat up like this. But it's on his opponent. It's on the guy that is landing these strikes to continue down the path until he makes you change something. Do this over and over because it seems like this is your easiest path to victory. Well, now these kicks are really starting to pile up since he found his range. This could be trouble. Well, this is absolutely the hurt business. It's hard to see which party is more injured, but I think both fighters have been really affected with their strikes in this one. Yeah, both guys have been affected. Both guys have been beat up. It's a very competitive fight. Let's see who has the heart to carry them through these very tough moments. All right, 45 seconds now to go on the round. Nice crack there. Good kick. 30 seconds to go on the round. He sets up that leg kick beautifully. Man, this dude's midsection is officially unrecognizable at this point in time. You do see the corners get involved, maybe more for head shots or leg strikes, but they got to be thinking about getting involved here. Ground beef, man. <laughs> Ground beef, John Anik. Look at the redness on his side. He is getting destroyed. He's been pounded to the body. He's been hurt to the body. And I would not be disappointed if the corner says, hey, I'm going to let my fighter live and fight another day. All right, let's take a look back at some of the highlights from those previous five minutes, DC, and uh, no padding, no glove on that foot. No glove, no padding, and look at the hip action when he throws those kicks. He's not only kicking just for feel, he's really trying to damage his opponent, and as the fight goes longer, you will start to see it taking effect. You ready to fight? Ready. Fourth round now, fight scheduled for five five-minute rounds. All right, fourth round is now underway as we get to the championship rounds. What is a fight? Oh, you gotta start going down. Oh, good knee. That's a great kick landed there. Oh, there's that low kick. That'll leave a mark. Big inside kick. Inside leg kick there again. Oh, roundhouse kick. Style points on that one. Oh, nice. Beautiful jab lands. Lee's kick blocked. Clean left punch followed by the right. Unable to connect there. Oh, huge connection by him there. He needs to get on his bicycle, John. He needs to get into space so that he doesn't get finished. Oh, so the taller fighter lands a flush knee. Unable to connect with the right. Inside leg kick lands and immediately a mark on his opponent. Another one. Just over three minutes to go. 
His leg is hurt here. You can see him limping a little bit. Another nice kick there. Solid series of kicks. They're all landing now. That's how you block a strike. Lee gets caught by that straight hand. Throwing that jab now again. The fighter evades. Nasty body kick downstairs. Once you can take that many kicks, it doesn't matter if they're hard or not. Those are a lot of kicks. The left punch is true. Now the right hand. Oh, nasty cut there, right on the bridge of the nose. Big right hook there by the champ. Just over two minutes now to go. Stay aggressive. Clean shot there is blocked. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Keeps going back to that jab, keeps throwing that jab, but unable to land. All right, let's go. Let's get those hands going now. Outstanding kick there by Lee. Really finding the kicking range now. Another one lands there. Oh, he's got the single collar locked in the clinch now. All right, seems as though his sole focus is attacking that cut, and man, it's getting bad now. A lot of blood flowing. Yeah, as it should be. Right? He should be focused on getting to that cut, making his opponent pay. He did the work. He opened up the cut. Now it's on him to continue on the path and make the ringside position come in here and try to stop this fight. Nice block. You can't take too many of those big elbows. Oh, nice inside leg kick, yeah. Liver kick. Oh, just out of range with that punch attempt. Big shot lands for both guys. Well, it's one thing to have length. It's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Lee. Able to land there with the straight left. Front kick to the body is there. Nice job by Lee. 15 seconds. Lee gets stung by that leg kick. My favorite shot in the game, another oh. leg kick. And there's the buzzer oh, indicating the end of round four. All right, so the round is over, and you see the cut man not wasting any time as the fighter makes his way back to the stool. The cut man will try to shut that cut on the bridge of his nose and prevent it from becoming a factor here moving forward. Well, his nose is just mangled. The cut appears to be the big issue. Let's get you some replays from that previous round. I mean, he's getting hammered. He's going back to the well over and over again. And why would he not? His opponent wasn't good on the defense. His opponent allowed for him to land too clean. And now, he's just targeting that cut on the nose. You ready to fight? Ready. Here we go, fifth and final round. On point with that jab. Hook, that'll land. Protect your right side. Nice strike lands. Oh man, head kick lands. Oh, that head kick was nasty. Good series of strikes for him there, staying busy and staying accurate. I mean, the accuracy is unbelievable. Let's go. Keep nice leg kick. Don't back up. Oh, nice. Oh, misses with the jab. Oh, now he lands a shot to the leg. Back and forth we go. It takes two to tango, and man, have these two individuals tangoed tonight. I might 
run it back at some point, no matter how this one ends. It's one of those fights where when you look at these two and the damage on their faces, the work that they have both put in, you realize and you appreciate what these fighters do inside the octagon. They're both hurt. They're both beat up. And both of these guys have shown a tremendous amount of resilience to put themselves in position to win this fight. Well, lands a good series of kicks there, DC. It really didn't take him long to get a good beat on his opponent. He figured the timing, and now he's been driving kick after kick into his opponent. Big shots being landed on both sides here. Beautiful kick to the body. Just over three minutes now to go in the fight. Oh, nice jab to the head by Lee. He's got to find a way to finish this fight. All right, so it's been a big narrative in the fight. The bruising on that thigh is now officially getting worse. He better make an adjustment and soon. He's got to do something. He's got to change something. He's got to change the way that this fight is playing out. He's got to check and return. That's what I look forward to this guy doing. He's got to check a kick, return with a punch. Make him pay for throwing the strike over and over again. Lands a good series of kicks here. Right on the button. Well, he's been good tonight, but he missed with that one. That one snuck in. Nice strike. Oh, caught him with a head kick. That at least partially landed. Oh, my goodness. He got kicked in the head, and he's still standing. So the referee monitoring things closely at this stage of the fight. I feel like the doctor is looking at that thigh as well. Didn't look like that when he walked out to him. No, he didn't. He was full of pep in his step. There is no more pep in that step. The guy can barely walk around the octagon right now. He's been beat up, he's been battered, he's been bruised, and it looks like we're very close to getting a leg kick finish. Oh, he gets tagged there. Nice combination to the head. Clean with that offering. Eats a jab there. Oh, single collar tie here. That's good defense to block that punch. So we go under a minute to go in the fight. It is hard to hear ourselves on the headsets. This place is going crazy after one of the best fights of the year. Both men put it all on the line. Just really a sight to behold from minute one of this fight. Well, they told us. They both told us. Strap in. This is going to be one of the best fights you've ever seen, and boy, has it delivered. We have seen blood. We have seen heart. We have seen spirit. We have seen these two lay it on the line against each other. But hey, it takes two to tangle, and we had the two right guys in the octagon tonight to produce an instant classic. 20 seconds to go in the fight. Understands that doing the block work will pay dividends the longer the fight goes. And now Leather being thrown on both sides. Hmm. All right, the official decision is now in. Here is Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score this contest 50 45. For the winner by unanimous decision, and still the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Bruce the Dragon Lee. Mixed martial arts royalty, folks, Bruce Lee.